This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, Unit 3, Animations and Games, Lesson 7, The Draw Loop, Part 12. Extend your scene. This is the sp sprite scene you made in the last lesson. You'll now be updating it a little bit to use the draw loop and the sprite properties. You made this at, in 6, right? Part 6. And we started it in, I believe, 16, 17, and 18. So your scene's going to look different than mine. Uh, just to refresh, this is my scene. Yes, I am proud of it. Showed my students it today and bragged. All right. Updating it a little. Oh, cool. So we're going to use the draw loop. Hopefully we can do some movement, maybe? Do this. Add the draw loop to your program. You should only have one. Okay. What's this say? This icon means this level is part of a larger project. Changes. Okay, cool. We'll be saved across projects because it's going to keep saving this as we go on with the course. All right. So add a draw function. Use the lasso selector. Click, hold, and drag. Okay. Okay. So wait. First, I'm going to put that way down there. All right. Use the lasso selector, click, hold, and drag to select all your code and place it inside the draw loop. Oh my goodness. Control Z will let you undo mistakes. Okay. Control Shift Z will let you undo undoing. All of my code. Oh, hey. Ooh, okay, got it all. Click, hold, and drag, they say. That was not successful. Oh, okay. So you want the top corner and ba da. All right. Got that part. Add code to the program that updates your sprites, sprite X, sprite Y, sprite rotation. Okay. So, and I had two sprites. Uh, all right. Sprite X, sprite Y. Okay. Because it's going to, if we hit reset and run, nothing changes. I mean, it's just drawing the same thing over and over and over. So, you'll need to update them with a random number. Okay. Uh, we will do it down here. Okay, and then I need, and what's the other one they want? Sprite rotation. Oh. Um... Oh, I got to go find the equals. So we did this last time. You got to use the equals. Got to go back to sprites. <laughs> got to find sprite rotation. And... But up. Perfect. All right. Now, I need to use a random number. So in math, random number. But ah. But ah. But ah, all right. And then, where were they originally? So I said created at eighty-eight. Oh. Okay. Um. So let's say, random number is going to be between one hundred and I'm probably going to want to change this, but I'm just testing stuff out in one twenty. And then my Y location, if this is 270, I'll say 270 to 400. Four hundred, okay. And then my number here for rotation, um, I don't know. We did negative five. Let's do negative ten. Make them dance a bit more. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit reset and run. And it's not gonna work. Why not? This is tricky. You see these yellow thingies? <laughs> yellow thingies. Yellow triangles tell us, hey, something's wrong. We don't have anything called Sprite. I named my Sprite Rob, right? And I have a Sprite down here named Bob. So that's the default. It's t it defaulted to say Sprite. But I need this to be my Sprite's variable name, right? V-A-R, Rob equals. That's what this should be. 
So I'm giving my sprite an X coordinate of, my sprite a Y coordinate of, and a rotation of. That's what we want, I think. Let's find out. Whoa-oh. <laughs> wow, okay, that looks kind of crazy. So what happened there? Well, there's two things that can help us in this situation. One, it won't necessarily fix it, and I don't think it will fix it, but I'm going to just say reset. But we can take our background pink and put it at the top just to keep things, you know, going and uh, clear. If it's a better location for it. Second thing, instead of having our variables, we don't need to create Rob, create spirit, sprite, a million times. It's just not needed. Nor do we need to set scale. The scale is always the same. Why do I need to change, set it a million times? Or set the animation to bot. I'm not changing what the animation. I don't need to set it every time it runs. So for starters, and I'll actually click, drag, hold, and get this stuff. And I'm going to move it up above and let go. Okay. Now let's see what this does, if anything. And there we are, because now we're not declaring it a billion times. And there's Rob jumping around like crazy. Let's see if we needed uh, Control Z to undo any mistakes. Add the code to your program that updates your sprites X, Y, rotation, random number, I think. Yeah, we got it, right? So moving all around, I can add some of that to Bob over here too, if I would like. Um, and yeah, looks good so far. So great. Let's keep going.